Ellie Golding Ribburn, and now we'll e- over to you. Thank you, Chris. Because um, Dave, Dave Traherne is with us. He is, uh, he is not only on the board of uh, Fonit FM, but he's also, I think, chair yeah. of, of the uh, DAB yeah. yeah. company. Uh, so we will get on to what what that is about at the moment because I know that's what you're working on mm. is all that is the fairly intricacies of the equipment. But I wanted to, since you're here for a little bit, and um, we won't be thrown out of the studio until the Good Power Magnus show arrives at twelve. Uh, whether you can remember or know about the consequences of FM when that started? Yeah, I mean it. It, it gave them. I was. I was working for two radio stations at the time, as well as having a day job, um, and uh, we, we were on um, oh dear, four five zero meters uh, on the medium wave in Exeter at the time, and the arrival of FM meant that in fact a um, the signal lost a lot of hiss because uh, particularly at night on uh, on AM. Or, yeah, uh, on AM, we, yes. we, we lost a lot of listeners because foreign stations um, collided with the medium wave signal. And so it gave a, a much clearer um, signal over a wider area. So th- that was effectively... Uh, oh, also, uh, we broadcast in stereo for the first time, which uh, you may or may not uh, remember. Uh, yeah, I do, I do remember stereo. Yeah. Well, because the the the, uh, the LPs came out in stereo versions. Absolutely, absolutely. And before that, a lot of them were mono. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so uh, I, yes, I, that was that would have been, uh, I guess, the ooh, early eighties, probably nineteen eighties. Yeah, early nineteen eighties. So it might have been FM that made the eighties so special. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it certainly. I I I'd been in America. Um, <laughs> he said I'd been in America um, and listened to the FM stations in the area that I was living in, which was Davis in California, and certainly there, uh, every two meters on the FM uh, on the uh, FM band there were stations and I think probably it introduced a lot of music that people hadn't heard before so you know but also uh, of course um, it, it, it enabled uh, a clarity that AM never allowed so that was that was that and so phonic FM the, the FM bit of phonic is is very important but is it going to be phonic DAB or will it still be called phonic FM well, on DAB um, well, actually, uh, we, we've got, we've got a, a very clever logo design that's about to come out because if you, if you look at Phonic, in the middle of Phonic, we've got O-N. And so actually what we're doing is, uh, as far as the um, Phonic th- thing is concerned on our normal logo, we're adding a D-A-B so that it reads Phonic on because they're going to be oh. highlighted in a different colour, yes. D-A-B. So it's going to be Phonic FM still, yeah. All right. So that's all right. We don't have to change anything. No, you don't. And uh, we, we've just reapplied for the FM licence. And, um, and if we, if we are awarded it, and it will be our fourth reaward, uh, we'll be on air on FM until at least 2030. Right. Well, that's about as far off as yeah, most yeah. of us are thinking yeah. about. I think so, yeah. So Phonic FM continues. Ph- Phonic FM continues, and what we'll be doing is adding a, a, a new signal on DAB+. Plus. It's not just DAB, it's DAB+. Plus. And uh, it, it, it brings about uh, the possibility of all sorts of different things that we haven't actually had in the past. OK, so explain that. I'll come back to some other things, but just explain that. What, what, what is possible with it? Um, well, first of all, uh, we have a text system which is attached to it. So if you have um, a DAB plus enabled uh, radio, you'll be able to find out what's actually being played a lot of the time. Um, but we can also uh, we can also send out text on other issues. So, um, for example, if people are like Chris, uh, if he's playing uh, music, 
um, if there are two or three of you in the studio, you'll be able to input what is being played at the time, or you'll be able to just have a text that says um, Chris Norton, or in the other case of your other show, We Not Know, um, on uh, FM and DAB in the extra area. And so can we put links into that? like web links or <laughs> things like that that people can go off and find something else, something I, else. Um, yeah I mean I, yes you can um, because but it all depends on the people it, the the output is as good as the input if you see what I mean surely yeah, um, the, the, yeah we, we've got this we've got all these possibilities whether we're going to be able to utilise all those possibilities is something that is to be determined the first thing I think is to get the actual signal on the air oh yeah okay yes yes no, no, I, 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 quite, I quite understand that yeah because um, yes that, that, that's, that's the priority and that and that is that's a, a big big achievement as well because you, F, FM is not going to disappear as it was once thought possible. No, I mean I, the government keep on putting back. Um, the, the time that they say they're going to switch off. I mean, they haven't even switched off the AM signal yet. So, and they were, you know, they were saying that they were going to do that ten years ago, but they haven't. No, but, but there's a there's a backup anyway. Yeah. I mean, if, 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 do, you're going to have a DAB signal in place, and that's the main that's the main priority. Um, I, I, I don't know because I, you know I think probably there are lots and lots of people domestically who are listening to Phonic FM on FM, if you see what I mean, sure. and won't actually well, make, won't, won't initially make the transition to DAB+. Whereas car owners, most cars since 2015 have got radios in them. New, if they've got new cars, they've got radios in them that are DAB plus compatible. So they'll be able to tune into the service as soon as we start it. Right, <laughs> and, and the, the areas where where the aerials are, it, do you think that's going to make a difference? Because I noticed that the, the one of them's at sort of at the top of Stoke Hill, mm -hmm. and the other one's going out beyond the science park. Well, there will eventually sort of be direction. there will eventually be three of them. Why don't we? Why don't Chris? Why doesn't Chris cho uh, fo choose another? track to play okay I have done and just for JD here is the bangles with what like an Egyptian <laughs> <laughs> 